I'm so glad you're here. I'm super excited to do this video. Um, so let's just get into it. I thought I would share with you guys kind of a show and tell. Um, I love to do crafts and I thought I'd just share with you some of the crafts I do. Um, I guess first off, I, I'm a seamstress. I sew, I can make clothes, costumes. I actually was lucky enough to work as a professional costumer for a while and I really love doing it. Um, however, nowadays I just do do it for friends and family. I am lucky in that most of my friends can sew. Uh, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> because sometimes you end up being the one doing it. Um, I do, I've mentioned that I do theatrical productions. I usually do my own costumes. I've also done costuming for productions. So that is a lot of fun. I really do enjoy sewing and, and doing that. Um, on, along the lines of sewing, I like to quilt, uh, make quilts. I've helped make a few quilts um, just in, you know, growing up and whatnot. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm making a quilt completely by hand. And those of you that quilt know this is tough. Um, I'm doing what is called a granny square quilt. My squares are not completely squared up. That sounds so weird. And they're made out of squares, two by two squares. I'm using a variation. I have this um, where the paisley is in the middle and then where the green is in the middle and paisley on the edge. And I'm using that yellow paisley and a blue. So, um, but those squares will be squared up and made into a quilt. As I said, I'm doing it all by hand, so it will take me probably forever, but I do it because I enjoy it, so it's also a great craft to try and take places in because all you need is your needle and thread, a few of your squares, and uh, maybe some scissors. Um, so that's not too bad, you know, as far as a take with you craft. Um, another craft I really enjoy doing, can't take with you, and that's soaping, making my own soaps, lotions, detergent stuff like that. Um, this is just an example. This is a bar of pine tar oatmeal soap. It's got oatmeal in there that my husband lovingly crushes in a mortar and pestle for me. Um, it's also got pine tar and pine tar is really great for people like in a soap. It's good for people who have skin problems. I actually have a skin condition that is um, when they biopsied it, it's inconclusive so they don't know exactly what it is but it behaves kind of like eczema, psoriasis, that kind of thing. Um, so this does help me a little bit. Um, I've made this for other people. It's helped them a lot. Um, another thing that um, one of my best friends loves to use this in the summer, she says it just makes her feel super clean, like it strips everything off. Um, another soaping thing I make is my own laundry detergent probably just looks like a big old white ball. Um, this is a dry version. I use one of my own unscented uh, bars of soap and I grate it up and add it in there with some washing soda and a few other things and it uh, it's not a high sudsing soap. You can't look in and see a lot of suds which makes it great for high efficiency washers too. Um, so it works in whatever I use. So another craft that I love to do. Um, I like to make candles. More than candles, I really like, I have one of those, um, I got it at Walmart. It looks like a mini crock pot. It's one of those warmers, wax warmers, and I love to make the fragrances I use in my soap. I can also use in, in uh, making those wax tarts. I love to do that and melt them and make the whole house smell great. Um, most of my soap is much more exciting than this. I like to do swirls and things like that. Um, if you guys would like to see maybe when I cut soap, I'll be soaping in the next few days. So if you guys would like to see the soap when it's done, see me cut it, let me know in the comments below and I'll, I'll make sure to make a video with my more exciting soaps. Um, probably using, uh, I don't know for sure what fragrances, but I know my husband would like some... Uh, some fragranced soap that isn't flowery what I have in there right now. So um, another craft that I love to do is crochet. 
I really, really love to crochet. Um, I have an Etsy account, which right now is where my crochet is. I'm going to make some of the waxed hearts and put it on there. If you guys would like to check that out, I will leave the link in the description box just so you guys, if you want to go check out some of the things I crochet. Um, I have a couple things to show you. This is my Hunter Owl bag. He's a cutie. Um, I'm finishing up the lining on his. It's just a really pretty light brown. It'll have a little pocket in there. Um, another thing that is pretty hot off my hook, um, and shout out to all my hookers out there. All right, um, this is my Spidey blanket. It's a web blanket. I really made it out of my favorite Spidey colors. Love that. That's actually on my Etsy. I also have, I'm a big superhero fan and nerd, and I've mentioned that before. I also have a shield blanket on there um, for my favorite captain. So let's see. I am looking forward to, let's see, some crafts I want to try. I am really wanting to give a try for weaving. Um, I don't have a loom, and that's, you know, kind of, I'm on a budget, so that's a little cost prohibitive. Um, but I'd like to that, but more than that, something I really want to try. Anybody who does rug hooking and has any tips, please leave them in the comments. I really would love um, some some help on getting started with that, like maybe a good backing. Um, I was just going to try like a burlap or a, a muslin backing. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, let's see. I also like to cook. I know a lot of people don't think of cooking as a as a craft, but it really is, um, I think. And I like to do, like, to get really old recipes, like medieval recipes, and try them. I also just like to try different things, kind of like doing, oh my gosh, I really do need to get some coffee, right? Um, kind of like uh, doing a chopped in my kitchen. I'll pull stuff out of the cat cupboard and just say, what can I do with this? So, you know, I enjoy cooking. It's obvious. Yeah. I know I'm going to get some comments about that. It's obvious I like food, and I'm okay with that. So, um, anyway, let's see. If you guys would like to check out my Etsy, I'll leave the link so you can go check it out and see some of my crafts. Uh, some of the other things I've crocheted. That's mostly what's on there right now. Um, like I said, if you guys would like to see more crafts from me or maybe some tutorials um, or some soap cuttings, different things like that, leave it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of little informal chat, show and tell. And I'll know if you like it. I'll make more. If not, we'll stop. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful one here. I'm going to get some coffee. I'm going to get on to, uh, I have a couple crochet projects I'm working on right now. One is for a friend that is a Katniss style cowl. Um, the other thing, these are both crochet. And the other thing is a bobble dice bag or a popcorn stitch. It's a poofy stitch dice bag. I also, if you can see in the back, my craft area needs some straightening up. Um, I've been trying to go through it and reorganize it, so I need to get on that. So I got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm sure you guys do too, but I want to thank you very much for stopping by and spending this time with me and going through my crafts with me. Um, so anyway, don't forget, like, don't forget to subscribe. You can catch, catch me also on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and I will see you guys another time. Have a great day. Bye.